Today, not many live in the town of Antelope. I think it's somewhere between 40 to 50 people. It's pretty much a ghost town. A different scene from the 80s. The first Rajneeshis arrived in Central Oregon in 1981. The group bought a cattle ranch near the tiny town of Antelope and started setting up what would become a settlement of thousands of people. They, it was 64,000 acres, big place, and they started moving their people in for this, uh, following the Bhagwan, who was a spiritual leader. The commune first took over the town of Antelope, then tried to take over the Wasco County government. Along the way, poisoning more than 700 people with salmonella in salad bars. It all ended when the Bhagwan was arrested and deported. Several others went to prison. The people left, but the structures stayed. The minimum price is 258500 And now one of the Rajneeshi's old buildings is on the market. This was a commercial building. It's zoned commercially. And they apparently bought it and used it as their printing house and as an office space. And I guess they had pretty wide distribution. Real estate broker John Gill says the 3,000 square feet two-story building was built in 1898. Current owners bought it in the mid-90s and ran it as a museum. So anybody who buys the property will get assigned all those Rajneesh items. Realty Marketing Northwest is in charge of the auction. The published reserve price is 258.5. That means that at that number or above, it sells. So far, about 20 bid packages have gone out to people interested in making a pit stop here in the town of Antelope. Just kind of a quiet place in a sleepy little town, pretty close to some great outdoor recreation. And um, so if you're looking for a little quiet time, want to get out of the big city. The auction deadline for the property is on December 8th at 5 p.m. The High Desert Museum near Bend will open a display with the Rajneesh era items from the building starting in January and running through October.